Hey guys, it's your girl, Sleepy, coming back at you with the uh, anime figure video. Let's go! Oh my god, the hype! <laughs> I I fell asleep at 3 a.m. and I I was and I slept till 7:30. I'm exhausted. Anyways. <laughs> this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my anime figures and the anime pop figure collection. Honestly, this whole experience was really telling for me because I thought I had a lot more figures, but I actually don't, so that's really interesting. <laughs> also, this is really a note to self. Um, I think in the future, when looking for anime figures. I'm probably going to look for more anime figures that are posed interestingly and have just a really unique design about them, especially their base. That is what I've come to learn about collecting anime figures is that I want an interesting base. <laughs> All right, our first figure of the day is Nishinoya Yu from Q. So I got this figure when I went to my first Comic Con and I remember it because there was just one booth in the corner that was like strictly anime and it had a bunch of Haikyuu because Haikyuu was, you know, tip of the iceberg, the end all be all anime of the time. So I go to the booth and I see that there's only anime figures of Haikyuu or anime body pillows. Let's just say I was really tempted to get the body pillows, but um, unfortunately, my dad was there with me because this is my first convention, and he also was paying for everything. So I couldn't quite get a body pillow of the Haikyuu boys. So I just went with this figure instead and still an amazing purchase might I add. I mean just look at his pose. Look at the rolls in his clothes. Detailed. Here is my Luffy and Ace figure. I basically showed this off during my manga haul manga tour video but here is them separately. I'll show you now. Here is my Luffy figure and Unlike my Nishinoya figure, his base is stunning! His action pack poses are super cool and I love his, just his fighting position. And funny enough, I actually used to have an Ace and Luffy figure that kind of looked just like these two. Uh, position wise, like, like fighting, you know, the whatnot. Um, Unfortunately, you know, some of the pieces were lost, like the flames that connected to Ace's foot, or like the little wind particles that, you know, the dust that connects to like Luffy's foot, and then unfortunately Ace's leg just broke, so at that point I just had to like throw it away. This figure actually comes from my online friend, he gave it to me for my birthday, so dope. Ha ha ha, who would have guessed? Another One Piece figure. This is my Law figure, and he is probably my tallest boy. He is the tallest figure I have, maybe even the heaviest figure I have, because you can you can easily knock someone out with this figure. He is he's got some weight on him. I really do love this figure. I love the fact that he literally has no base. Uh, I love the details, even right down to the tattoos on his fingers. But just some of the like more unfortunate things about this figure. The sword constantly falls you touch it it's gone it's actually just out of his hand it, he used room and it's in you know several feet away that's that's how annoying the sword can be if it's not like specific like in a specific way into his hand and two i know i said earlier that i like that he doesn't have a base but i mean like the fact that he doesn't have an ugly base <laughs> because this figure is so unsteady it's so unbalanced so let's say Hypothetically, of course. You have him on top of a desk, like a, a two-layered desk, and you just put him at the top, but the desk is very rickety. You touch it, it kind of just wiggles. So um, un let's just say this very unsteady figure just so happens to fall every time you touch your desk, and then the desk kind of just like, 
you know, he falls onto your ace figure. Just, again, hypothetically, of course. He falls onto the ace figure, and then the ace figure actually just breaks its leg, and then that's how you lose all of the, like, connecting features to the figure. Um, you'll start to think that this figure kind of sucks because of how unsteady it is. But again, this was a hypothetical, of course. But man, do I love this figure. Next, we have some of my cutest figures in the bunch. Okay, here are the Demon Slayer figures that are eating Onigiri, or rather, rice balls. This is a huge Demon Slayer figurine set in Mark My Words. I am going to get each and every one of them. This is a threat. <laughs> But the one thing that I really like about this set is for the fact that each figure is really showing off their personality in their own way while eating Onigiri. Tanjiro's smiling, Uzui looks flamboyant as always, and Obanai looks like he'd rather not be there. These guys are super cute, I really love them, and I'm going to collect this set like it's Pokemon. Just one thing to add on the b-roll. Um, I love Uzui's figure, but the one issue that I have with it is for the fact that the headband, the gems in the headband are just clear white. I look- I even looked this up to like double check myself in case if I was just seeing things, hallucinating, but his headband is- the gems on it is like a light pink. I don't know why they just didn't do it because they have like his nail polish correct, but- <laughs> They just didn't do the gems in the head band, and I, I don't- I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Go back to the b-roll, whatever. Also, quick note, sorry I'm dumb. I thought I broke something off of Obanai's figure, but I actually didn't, so just ignore my hand. This is where we get real classy. This is my Tanjiro figure that I'm actually really proud to own because of just how pretty it is. The work on not only Tanjiro himself, but also the water is just absolutely stunning. Do you see that water? When I saw it, I fell in love. It's absolutely gorgeous. The figure also came with this wood sign. I have no idea what it says, so if anyone knows, comment down below because I'm clueless. This figure was made by Bundai and I got it at my local Barnes & Noble. about this figure is the triangle base and how dull the base actually is. Like, who makes a triangle base for a figure? If you have a bookshelf like me that's full to the brim and, you know, you're really like tight on space, for this huge triangle base, like, how do you fit that? It's so annoying. It's so- and plus it's so awkward too. Like, I don't get it. I don't get who did that. Why? Why did you do that? Next, we have this really cool Gyu figure that's made by the same company as my Tanjiro figure. You could have guessed based on the artwork and just how beautiful that they did the water of her, her Gyu sword. The issue that I have with this figure is kind of like the same issue that I have with the Tanjiro figure. I'm really going to reiterate this point a lot throughout this video, but the fact that the base is just so big and triangle, like here and here. I 
don't need this space. <laughs> it's useless to me. Why couldn't you just have made such a cooler base, like, you know, like a water effect of a base for, for you? That would have been so much cooler than that. Next, we have my Inosuke figure, and now with this, I am only one figure away from completing the trio. I'm actually pretty excited about that, if I'm being honest. I can't wait to get a Zenatsu figure. My friend actually gifted me this figure when they went down to Florida. They bought it and then came back to our home state and, <laughs> and gave it to me. I was so shocked and like, I was just so happy because I love Inosuke. He's like my second favorite character in Demon Slayer. Unfortunately for me, my favorite character in Demon Slayer is um, Tanjiro's blacksmith because him without his mask chef's kiss perfection very nice <laughs> like i love this figure it's just unfortunate because the base is kind of boring and i want a more action-packed anosuke like i know this is like his signature like stance up move but you know something a little bit more exciting but i i i do like this figure i like it a lot now here we are stepping into the realm of my hero academia here we have the grand and almighty todoroki i actually really like this figure a lot i think it's so cool i love the stand for it i love how very just action-packed it looks I mean, I like how like his feet are not touching the ground and he looks like he's just like in the air and he's fighting in the air. I think that's that's what I imagine when I look at this figure and I just think it's cool. And here is my Midoriya figure that's also just kind of like my Todoroki figure. The reason why I like it's the same. Funny enough, I got these two figures at a Comic-Con convention. This was like uh, later years where like there was a lot more anime stuff and it came, it was Bakugo, Midoriya, Doria and Todoroki. Because I don't like Bakugo, I purposely made the choice to buy Midoriya and Todoroki and leave Bakugo. To this day, I still don't regret that decision. these two together and don't they look just like a pair oh my god they're so cute together love it <laughs> i'm so tired <laughs> anyways there was one thing that i wanted to talk about was the, for the fact that midoriya's hair i don't know if anyone else has like realized this but whenever i see a midoriya figure like his hair always looks so awkward like that hair does not belong on his head i don't know what it is maybe because it's green also this is a, a wall scroll that I got um and at the same time I got my figures so it's very cool I love it a lot but going back to Midoriya's hair look at his hair on some figures and look at his hair on like maybe in video games because it looks so awkwardly placed okay I want you guys to to examine analyze this for me and here is my final actual figure Shikamaru Nara from Naruto, my second husbando. I love him so much. I really do love his base. I think it's so good and it's really fitting for Shikamaru because he has the shadow jutsu. And to have uh, like these shadowy like wisps, like tail things like coming out of the base is just, it adds so much detail to the figure. However, this really unfortunate thing, you can just see this huge line go all the way around Shikamaru's head and it, it's kind of awkward if you're like near the figure because it's so blatant, but other than that, it's, it's such a great figure and I love it. thing about this figure is for the fact that his feet just don't stay into the pegs and he can fall out of the figure pretty easily 
it's not so much as a deal breaker, but it just makes it annoying if I try to clean him or remove him. Here's this interesting cup set that I always have on my desk of Bakugo. I don't use it because I don't like him. I really don't know what to do with it, but it sits there. But at least my pretty candle is in front of it. That's a good scent. You want a good candle, buy that candle. So for these next two figures, I took pictures because the boxes are pretty reflective. But here are two uh, movable joint figures of Midoriya I got from my friends. It's just the reason why I haven't took them out of their box is because of the um, they have so many parts, and I don't want to lose anything. So they kind of just been stayed in their boxes for a couple years now. Two other figures that I think are probably the cutest things that I have are these two desk buddies of Zenetsu and Tanjiro. I actually don't have Nezuko or Inosuke, which is tragic, but I'm aiming to get them. But they're just so much fun to have on your desk. It really feels like you have a buddy. Now we are on to pop figures, and it's okay, I know, I get it. If you skip over the pop figures or just click off this video, that's fine, I do the same. But in the future, I'm going to try not to buy any more pop figures. I don't want any. I don't want them anymore. I just want to focus on cool anime figures. Speaking of cool figures, here is Tanjiro dressed when he was going to the test to get into the Demon Slayer. And yes, I truly struggled to get that sentence out. So here is my My Hero Shrine. Starting from the right, we have Skinny All Might, then we have Hero All Might, then Eraser, Bakugo, Uraraka, Suyu, Midoriya, Todoroki, Midoriya, Midoriya. And I'm pretty sure two of these Midoriya are Hot Topic exclusive. Maybe it was the Midoriya when he was in, you know, the first test with All Might, and then the sports arc. Who knows? <laughs> Listen, you can call me smooth brain or a swine, but I just don't keep my pop figure boxes after I take them out of the box because I'm just like, I want them out of the box. I want to showcase them. Anyways, I zoom in on Uraraka and Suyu here because I wanted to say that these two are probably the best when it comes to standing out of all my My Hero pop figures. Also, I want to just showcase the difference between Skinny All Might and Hero All Might pop figures because, oh my god, is there just such a drastic difference between these two? And it's so funny. This no, is what I would like, I to, would like to call my Naruto Naruto's shrine, but R.I.P. Kakashi because he fell and broke his leg and I threw him out because his leg wasn't sticking anymore. So, L. L to me. L to me. So, first off, we have Naruto, the Naruto in Sage mode, and you just got to love the drastic difference between the two. Then we have Shikamaru and Gara from Naruto, and these two, their bases are magnificent. I mean, look at this zoomed in version of them. Aren't they just gorgeous pop figures? They're so cool and just so in tune with their characters. Then in the right hand corner, we have Sabo. And as much as I love Sabo, he is so annoying as a pop figure. This man falls 24 seven. And if you don't have him in like the right position, he will fall 110%. Next we have Happy from Fairy Tale, And I got this as a birthday present um, from one of my birthdays. I don't know. <laughs> I'm really dating myself here. But he's a great pop figure because of how small he is, which he doesn't take up a lot of room when you're trying to decorate a bookshelf, which is amazing. Then finally on the shelf, we have Grell from Black Butler. I got Grell when I was in my Black Butler phase when watching the anime, and I love this figure because he's just got these like bulky red glasses, and then he has his chainsaw, and the details on this figure are just magnificent. Plus, he's like one of the funniest characters in Black Butler. Also, don't come for me because like I have only watched the anime of Black Butler season 1, 2, and Book of Circus, okay? So like, just saying. Now we have the Pokemon section, and starting from left to right, we have Bulbasaur, Eevee, Vaporeon, Jolteon, and Flareon. I got the Eevee and Eevee Evolutions for my birthday from one of my online friends, and honestly, I, I love them all, of course, but the Eevee could have been a little bit cuter, but do you see Bulbasaur? Do you see the smile on this boy? Isn't he just 
the cutest thing you have ever seen in your life? Sorry about the lighting here. This is literally the deepest, darkest, most in the depths shelf that I have. So I have a mishmash of stuff here. We've got Star Wars, we've got South Park, we got Angelica from Hamilton, we've got Marvel as well. Just a whole bunch of things. But it's the anime things that you came here to see. Not any of that mishmash. So the first two things that you can see is Dan Kuso from Bakugan and Joker from Persona 5. While some of you were watching Beyblade, I was watching Bakugan. And this is Dan Kuso from the original because recently they came out with a new Bakugan show and it's- I watched like one episode because I was curious. It's so bad. It's actually so bad. Then we have Joker from Persona 5. I love the Persona 5 game. I had so much fun playing it and I think Joker's- I don't know. I wouldn't say like, you know, the best, like the greatest protagonist, but I had fun playing the game and that's all that matters. So, in memorial, in rem- in memorial, in m memorabilia, I, I decided to get the Joker 5, Joker, the Persona 5, Joker, pop figure. I just, this has been a mess. I, I'm moving on. I'm moving on. Then finally, my last two anime pop Funkos. As you can see, they are the same character. They're from Seraph of the End, and the character's name is Yu. Seraph of the End is a Realistically, it's a vampire anime and manga series, and it's one of the few vampire anime and manga series that I actually enjoy. I don't really like vampire tropes that much, so it, this was really fun to see. As you can see, these are of the two same characters. We have normal you on the left, and then demon you on the right. I won't spoil anything of how demon you happens if you haven't seen it, but I highly recommend Seraph of the End. It's really fun. And that's it. This is my anime figure tour. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, I had fun making this. Kind of, again, shocked of how little I had, because I thought I had a lot more. At least a lot more Pop Funkos, but I guess I didn't. And I think this video really helped me figure out what I want more in figures that I buy in the future. So, really good for me. If you guys got any ideas on what figures like you want to buy just comment all that down below i want to see what you guys thought of my figure tour well everyone stay happy stay healthy and stay sleepy i'll see you all later now we have my my hero shrine and oh hold on hold on you don't belong here